Hey guys, uh, my name is Tom and in this video I want to show you my updates that I added to my uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera. Uh, if you watched my last video where I kind of talk about my rig, uh, I kind of built everything based around this uh, small rig cage that I added on onto the camera. And now I added a few other small little accessories uh, that are, you know, pretty cheap and very, very handy. So first one is this uh, monitor mount from MD Cine. It's cool because it's uh, it's very cheap and it's very handy. It's basically a cold shoe mount, so it's gonna work not just with this obviously rig. You can put it on any camera where you have a cold shoe mount. Um, and then basically once you have it on there, you put a monitor. You can put obviously a bigger monitor if you want. This thing will take the weight because you can adjust with an Allen key uh, the actual tension on, on all of these joints. But what's cool is that it allows you to very easily kind of rotate the monitor, you know, tilt it up, down. So you can have, view the monitor at different angles. And even like, let's say if I'm getting a shot of myself, I'm in front of the camera, I want to be able to quickly see what the hell is going on, if the camera is even rolling or if I'm in frame and things like that, then as you can see, I can rotate it. Or if I have a, you know, first AC who wants to pull focus or something, I can tilt the monitor this way. And uh, yeah, it's so far the best monitor mount. It's just, you know, a lot of these monitor, it's the kind of articulating mounts, they'll, Either, either they're too stiff, you can't like move it too easily, or if they become very loose very easily and then they kind of, the monitor flaps around everywhere. This thing is just perfect, like you adjust the Allen keys to the tension that you want and it just stays that way. Uh, and I like it so much that I actually got two more of these. They actually come in this um, uh, really neat little case. And when you buy the mount, see this is the mount itself, so you can definitely put it in your camera bag and just keep it with... Uh, you know with all of your cameras. That's the reason why I got two more because I got basically two other cameras like this that I'm, I'm gonna be putting this on uh, And what I also like is the fact that like I said you buy that but they give you this case They include this uh, inside here little uh, box where you can store for example your memory cards uh, They also give you the Allen key for adjusting the tension, but then they also give you uh, this thing which is a uh, it's like this cool little, I guess, a thing you attach to your keychain, you can carry with you, or you can just carry it here in this case. And it has all the different, like, Phillips uh, head screwdrivers, flat, uh, flat head up here, it even has different size Allen keys, all basically right in here, uh, and that you can use so you can loosen and tighten different things on your camera. Really neat little thing to have, it's like solid metal, and you can attach it, carry it with your keys. Uh, so that all comes included for the price of just that mount. Uh, another thing I got is um, from Small Rig actually. It's this little thing here, attachment, which is actually for attaching the Samsung, uh, basically SSD that you can use with this camera. Uh, it's a great way to record on this camera because you can, these these hard drives right now are super cheap. And actually, the one that I've got up here, I got it on sale recently on Amazon, and I'll show you for I guess for different sizes that you can get. Uh, they they have huge huge discounts on it. So here, I'm gonna disconnect the cable. And I have the hard drive actually hidden in here. And here it is. Very small, very handy little in you know, a hard drive. This one's half a terabyte. Uh, they have one terabyte. They have you know different sizes that you can get of these. They have smaller ones. Uh, USB Type-C connection. And this little thing will record for hours. Again, depending on what what compression setting and all that stuff on, on, the, on this camera. But once you get it, that was the first thing I thought is, where the hell do I put it, right? Uh, well, like I said, you can use this thing from Small Rig. Very neat. You just basically put it in here. You tighten this thing on the top. And once you have it tight there, it basically stays. It doesn't fall out of here. And then this thing you basically attach. It comes with two screws and you can attach it anywhere here. On top of the cage or on the side of the cage. Whatever it is that you want to attach it. So that's the cool thing about that. Now... If you like having a side handle, side grip, like I do, then you can get this side grip, which is also from Small Rig. And this uh, grip is really cool because, uh, well, first of all, it looks really cool. It has this wooden finish here up here, and the rest of it here is metal. Uh, it, uh, it's going to work, first of all, for both the left and the right. So you can flip it around. You can have it also this way. Up, you know, I I, I mounted basically the other way because I just find it more comfortable for me. But if you like to hold it this way, you can hold it this way. And like I said, you can detach this little arm here. You can put it on this side or on this side. So you can have it like this or or on, on the left side. Or you can buy two of them and then you can you can hold it using that. 
Uh, for me, I find just having one of this, these handles is really neat because you can, again, I, I usually put it on the left side because that's the, the shorter side of the camera. Uh, basically, that sticks out less from the center of the lens. So I find it really handy kind of holding it like this. And you see, even with this massive uh, 70 to 200 millimeter Tamron uh, lens that I have up here, it still holds the weight of it nice. And I find that w having the arms basically be a little bit away from the center of the, the lens, it allows me to have smoother, uh, basically, handheld shots. But what's really cool about this thing is that you can just drop the hard drive in here because it has a little, uh, here, like a slot there. Put it in there, you can flip this, you can also tighten this so that you know it's not gonna fall out on you. It holds the, the hard drive there. And then basically you attach the cable here on the bottom and then plug it into your camera and you can rock and roll with this. And People won't even know they have a you know a hard drive hidden there in the handle, so that's a really cool thing I find. And also, like I said, I, I like it because it actually protects the hard drive. Like if you were to drop this or something, the hard drive doesn't actually get a hit. It's the you know the wood or the, or the metal around on the handle. So those are my little quick updates that I did to my rig. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. And even better, go to my website tomantusfilms.com and subscribe so you stay on, on top of all this cool little extra things that I always find or do or new tutorials. I have a really neat uh, lighting tutorials that I did recently so you guys can check that out also on my website for free. Really fun, uh, quick, easy ways to get for example this night scene uh, with these kind of a magical looking uh, you know, fireflies or uh, or for example this scene here with the, with the lightning. So uh, again, head on over to my website if you want to see all that stuff and while you're there subscribe to my newsletter. Um, so you're notified about all these new new releases. And if you guys have any other suggestions, tips, and whatever things maybe that you found that you you know you added to your uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera that you find really useful, then again share with me and, and other filmmakers out there. Let us know. Like, hey, I found this little cool thing or accessory. Again, leave it in the comment section below. Or if YouTube sometimes filters out comments automatically and they don't let you post there, then Again, even better, go to my website and leave a comment on my on my latest post so other people know uh, about these cool little gadgets that you can find. Anyways, thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.